Hello, you guys. I am getting ready for the day right now, and I figured that we could do a little like first trimester update. Um, I wanted to do one like midway and then one at the end. Today, I am six weeks and a couple days, so I'm about halfway through the first trimester, and then um, I'll do another like recap update at 12 weeks once the first trimester is over. Um, and like see how everything changes. I really wanted to make sure to do this because for myself, like I've been trying to research like content and people that have like vlogged like their pregnancy and stuff like that because this is all new to me. Obviously it's my first time being pregnant. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what's normal. Um, and I really, I love to watch like vlogs, but a lot of the pregnancy vlogs are much further along because obviously typically in the first trimester, you don't like publicly tell people that you're pregnant just yet, at least not like online. So there's definitely less first trimester content, I feel, than other, um, you know, content further along. But I feel like the first trimester is when you're like, okay, what's going on? Because your body's going through so many changes because it's right in the beginning. So I wanted to make sure that I made this video and then I'll just post it later on once obviously I've like announced that I'm pregnant and, and everything is good and you're kind of out of that scary first trimester time when you just, you know, don't know what exactly is going on. So it's funny because if I was to have made this video last week, it would have been a totally different video than the one that I'm making today. Um, Cause I feel like with pregnancy, it changes so much week by week. So basically up until this week of six weeks, I would have said that I am having just like the easiest, best pregnancy ever. Um, again, obviously it's still very early, but up until this week, sometimes I would even forget that I was pregnant, I swear, because nothing seemed any different. And then for lack of a better term, <laughs> all hell kind of broke loose this week, but um, we'll get into that in a second. But essentially the first, you know, five and a half basically weeks, or I would say like really the first six weeks, it's once I hit six weeks, that stuff started to get crazy. But for the first six weeks, everything was completely normal. I found out at three weeks, so obviously for the first three, didn't know I was pregnant at three weeks, figured out that I was pregnant because I took an early detection test. And for the first three weeks felt completely normal. Um, really no significant differences to note. And as far as like the classic symptoms go that you always hear people talk about in the first trimester, I don't really have any of them, which I'm grateful for. So far, I do not have morning sickness, which I'm very, very grateful for. Another really common symptom that you hear people talk about in the first trimester is just being totally and completely exhausted. That's another thing that thankfully, um, so far, not to say that it can't change, I haven't really dealt with. The only really symptoms that I would say is I do definitely have breast tenderness. That's something that I definitely have. Um, but aside from that, really have been feeling normal, which I'm incredibly grateful for. So again, first six weeks, smooth sailing, then boom, we hit the six week mark and stuff went a little crazy. So this all happened within like the past couple days. So to break it down for you guys, basically, um, let me start filling in my browser. I'm going to just chat and not do anything. This is like the one thing that I feel like I can't chat through because I need to focus, you know? Okay, so six week mark, everything's fine, doing good. Um, I go to the bathroom one night and I start to see that I'm spotting. So immediately, obviously you start to freak out, your mind goes to the worst. Anytime you see any sort of blood, I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? Um, this was right before I went to bed. So it was at about one o'clock in the morning. I obviously couldn't call the OB right at that second. So I waited till the next morning to call them. Um, and it had continued on into the next morning. I called them the next morning, confirmed with them that it was just a small amount. Um, and they were like, it's all right, it's normal, which that made me feel a lot better. That's something that, you know, when you look online, you can see basically it's normal or it could be really bad. You don't know, <laughs> you don't know. Um, they were like, it's totally normal. One in four women, so about 25% of women will experience this in their first trimester. And I feel like that's not, super widely known. Um, so if it happens to you, don't freak immediately. Like I did, like I could barely sleep at all that night until I called the doctor and they were like, it's okay, it's normal. Um, and they were not super concerned about it. They did tell me to call them back if it like hadn't cleared up in like a couple of days or got heavier or changed significantly, whatever. So I was like, okay, felt a bit better went on throughout my day. This went on for about three to four days and it was still happening. It never changed significantly, didn't get like much heavier, but it was still going on. So I called them again and was like, hey, listen, like this is kind of scaring me. It's been a couple of days. Can I come in? Like, let's check and make sure that this is okay, whatever. And they were like, yes. Um, so I ended up going into my OB because 
I had, and this was my first appointment that I had ever had with them because they typically don't take people in until eight to 10 weeks. Um, so at this point I was just right at six weeks, which is still a little bit early, but they were like, yeah, come in and we'll just, you know, make sure that everything is okay. I go into the OB appointment and um, they do an ultrasound. They see that the um, baby's in my uterus, everything is looking good. They measured it, they were measuring correctly, you know, how they should be at the time and everything was good. So I was like, okay, felt a lot better. Um, and they were like, you know, you're, you may continue spotting and I wouldn't be super concerned about it again unless it changes to a much heavier flow or something like that. So I was like, okay. I left, they did ask me during the appointment what my blood type was, which honestly, I wasn't 100% sure. And they were pretty shocked it seemed that I didn't know what my blood type was. Um, I don't know, I just, I guess that's a common thing and I should have known it, but I don't, I didn't know at the time what my blood type was. So I called like my original pediatrician doctor that I went to till I was like, honestly, 18. Um, and then like my primary care doctor that I typically go to now, neither of them had any record of what my blood type was. And then I looked at like all this past um, blood work that I had had done, you know, whenever you go to get like a physical, you get blood work done at like a lab corp or whatever looked at all those documents and nothing said what my blood type was. So I was like, I don't know. So I called my mom and she was like, I think you're O positive. She was like, I know it's O, but I'm not sure if it's positive or negative, but she's like, I think you're O positive. So I was like, I think I'm O positive. That's what I told them. So they're like, okay. And Steven, they did ask me what Steven's was and he actually knew for sure because he had donated blood a bunch of times in the past um, that he was O positive. So I was like, my husband's O positive, pretty sure I'm O positive, whatever. They did take a blood sample from me while I was there though, um, but obviously that takes a while to be processed by the lab to check to see what my blood type actually was to confirm that. So whatever, this all happens, I leave, I'm feeling so much better, I'm like, okay, cool, we're good. Um, this all happened on a Monday morning and I was going later that day into New York City for a rare beauty brand trip that I was so excited about. I was like so honored to be invited. Um, we got to meet Selena Gomez and basically we were all um, getting together in the city and then we were going to preview the new collection and then we we're all going to head up to um, this beautiful kind of like wellness resort up in upstate New York. Um, so I head into the city and I'm at the beginning of the event and we're actually in like um, this pretty small room like it was me and maybe I don't know 30 other people and Selena was speaking and I see that my OB is calling me. So I'm like, okay, I'll call them right now. Obviously I'm not gonna like take this call in the middle of this very intimate thing while Selena Gomez is speaking. Like, and I didn't think anything of it like would be urgent. I thought maybe they were just confirming my next appointment. Like, I don't really know. So I'm like, okay, I'll call them right when this is over. Cause it was only gonna be like 30 minutes for this small speaking part. Then I see they're calling me again, like immediately after. So I'm like, okay, and they left a voicemail and I can see, you know how you can like, um, Instead of like listening to a voicemail, you can like see a recap, at least on iPhones, it'll show you like in text what it's saying. So I quickly like took out my phone and I see like in text and it's like, hi Kelly, this is like your OB's office. Please call us back immediately. So it was at this point I was like, oh my gosh, okay. So the speaking part of this was actually ending. So it was good timing, I guess. Um, I was able to go outside and I called them back. And basically they were like, you are not O positive, you are O negative blood type. Um, so I was like, okay. And they were like, you need to go get Rogam immediately. And I was like, <laughs> it's so funny now, like looking back at this again, first pregnancy, I don't have any idea what this is. I have no medical field experience. So I was like, oh, okay, is that like a supplement? Um, and they were like, no, it's a shot, where are you? And I was like, I'm in New York City, like for a work trip, I'm about to head up to upstate New York um, until the following like two nights. So is this something that I can wait to get until Wednesday. And they were like, no, you need to get this immediately, like go to like a hospital in New York City. And I was like, what? Like, I'm like, wait, what's going on? Like, can you explain to me like what this is? Like, I don't even know what this is. And at this point, like my head is just spinning. My anxiety is mounting. Cause I'm like, oh my God, like there's a problem. What's happening? Basically because I am O negative and Steven is O positive and O positive is actually the most common blood type. Um, there's a high percent chance that our baby is going to have an O positive blood type. So their blood type is not going to match my blood type. And what can happen is my body can start to create antibodies against that O positive um, blood type that the baby has. And, um, basically try and like attack off the red blood cells that are O positive. That's my, again, I'm not a doctor. So this is just like my understanding at the time of the process and what could potentially happen. So 
the nurse is kind of like explaining this to me over the phone. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, okay. And essentially the Srogam shot stops that from happening. Now at the time, I didn't realize that this actually would not affect the current baby, which maybe the nurse said that on the phone, but I really don't think that she did because that would have made me feel a whole heck of a lot better in the moment, I think. I still would have been scared, but not as terrified as I was, but it actually does not affect the current baby, but it could have um, long lasting effects on any future babies. So basically what they don't want is my blood mixing with their blood. That's when those antibodies could start to be created. And then if I was to have another baby in the future that had O positive blood, they would start attacking them, not the current baby. That's my understanding of it. Again, I'm not a doctor. So please don't take this as like doctor's advice. This is just how it was explained to me. So I was like, oh my God, okay. So I was thinking that this was affecting like the current baby and that my like, you know, body was basically attacking them. And like, I needed to get the shot ASAP. I did still need to get the shot ASAP, but it was not attacking them. It actually would be effective in the future, but still it was very important that I got it done. This is typically not something that you would get done until much later in your pregnancy. Like, cause I would have had to get this regardless, but had I not been spotting at the time, it was because I was having blood that I needed to get it immediately. Um, where typically you wouldn't actually get this until much later in your pregnancy, like 28 weeks or so. Like I probably would have found out around 12 weeks that I did need to get it at around 28 weeks. So it wouldn't have been a super urgent thing because they want you to have it basically in full effect when you give birth. I frantically called Steven and I was just like, can, is there any way that you can come get me? Cause I was, could have just called an Uber obviously, but I was like terrified. Um, we don't live that far outside of New York city. And I was like, you know, I just wanted him to be there because I was freaking out. Thank God he dropped everything. <laughs> um, and came and got me. I told the Rare Beauty team, I was like, I'm so sorry, but I gotta go. I'm having an emergency and I have to leave. Um, and they were so understanding and so kind. They were like, oh my gosh, like, is there anything I can do? Like, are you okay? I was like, no, no, I'm okay. I just really have to go. I'm so sorry. So I felt really bad. I could not continue on on the trip. Um, but they were very kind and understanding and did everything that they could to help me in a moment of like super high stress. Um, and Steven was able to come get me super quickly. We went to the hospital immediately and I got the shot and everything has been okay. Um, it was like a blur of a day, like such a whirlwind. I was so terrified. And in the time, I didn't really even have enough time to like research any of this or figure any of this out because it was all kind of like sprung on me at in one second where I'm like, okay, they're just like injecting me something. I don't even know like what this is or what exactly this is for. And I now know that it's completely safe and it's very common that people get this and all this kind of stuff. But at the time had no idea and really wasn't getting um, a great explanation over the phone. And the person that I was actually speaking to on the phone is not my typical, it was not my doctor nor my typical like nurse practitioner that I would see. It was just a different person. Um, who to be honest, didn't really do a great job of explaining it to me um, and kind of like <laughs> said it in a very like doomsday sort of way, like you need to get this now or you know, it's gonna be really, 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 really bad. Um, so I was just like spinning and so anxious. And um, yeah, so that all happened. It's done, I'm good, the baby's good, everything's good. But yeah, it's definitely not something that I ever knew existed that was a thing or ever heard anybody talk about. So I wanted to make sure that I like mentioned it because um, it was something that I went through. And if this can make anybody else in the world, even one person like more aware of this and um, you know, know that this is a possible thing that could happen, it would be helpful. So I would recommend that if you are pregnant or planning to get pregnant, try and figure out what your blood type is. You can just go to any like lab, get your blood drawn and they'll be able to tell you what it is. Um, so that you know that upfront. And then if you are O negative, this is something that you will likely have to do. So just to know, um, you know, that. But O positive is the most common. I just, of course I gotta be a little different. Aside from that, it has been smooth sailing, but that was a hiccup that I didn't expect. Definitely interested to see what um, the next six weeks brings as we close out the first trimester. Hopefully everything remains calm and the same. That is what I am hoping for personally. But yeah, that is my little first six week update, you guys. Uh, hopefully this was helpful if you are expecting yourself or you're just interested in this. And I will see you guys soon for the next update. Hi guys. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm filming like this right now, but I want to give you guys the real tea, okay? I want to give you a realistic update. I'm not going to sit with a full face of makeup on and pretend like, not pretend, but you know, just be like, oh my God, everything's fine. Okay, I'm being overly dramatic. I do not want to like sit on here and complain. I'm beyond grateful for 
being able to be pregnant and bring a beautiful life into this world, first and foremost, of course. But I want to give you guys a realistic view into what's going on um, because it's not just me that deals with this. Um, I'm sure most people do. And I feel like my first check-in that I did with you guys at six weeks was polar opposite of how I feel right now. And I would never want somebody to watch that and be like, oh my gosh, like she feels great, is having no issues. Like, why am I so tired, so nauseous, so sick? Like, what what am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. Um, basically, at six weeks, I felt totally fine. Um, I would say somewhere between six weeks and seven weeks, because I filmed that last clip where I felt completely fine. Uh, it was six weeks, and then I feel like it was right before I turned seven weeks, so like we'll say six and a half weeks. Ooh, sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Thought I was gonna throw up there for a second. Doing okay. Um I the nausea definitely started to set in. Um it started not so bad. I would get, you know, a little queasy feeling. Um, especially like when I first got up, like I would have to eat when I first got up, but I could not eat like eggs or anything like I used to eat like I just had to eat something very very plain so I was eating like English muffin with a little bit of peanut butter or just like toast um in the morning and that would kind of help with the nausea and then it's kind and then it kind of spiraled into um all day nausea unfortunately which is what I have right now I am currently uh almost 10 weeks yeah so I'm like nine almost 10 weeks yeah nine and a half a little bit more than that I'll be 10 weeks in like two days <sighs> i don't know why they call it morning sickness because it does like right now it is like 4 30 in the afternoon it's a friday i am done with my work thank gosh um i took all my makeup off my hair i never even did it today and i'm in this like snuggy blanket thing on the couch <laughs> um steven went to the gym but i just could not work out today. I did work out every other day this week, which I'm grateful for. I was able to push through and do that. But today I was like, I just need to lay down for a little bit. Um, but yeah, I don't know why they call it morning sickness because for me, it lasts all day long. It really does not go away. I would say the time I feel best is at night. Um, and the time I feel worst is in the middle of the day, which is interesting. Like I feel definitely nauseous and queasy when I first get up, but I'll have like that toast or English muffin. And then I feel like all right. And then I would say between like one and five or so, which is like smack dab in the middle of the day, that's kind of when I feel the worst, which is interesting. Um, definitely lots of nausea, also very tired. Um, the past couple of weeks have been a little rough. Again, I'm beyond blessed to be able to even have these symptoms. So I don't want to come off as complaining. I just want to give a realistic um, look into like what my first trimester has been like because i don't want somebody to see the first couple clips at six weeks and be like why don't i feel like that and then just you know have me cut to 12 weeks where hopefully i'm feeling better at that point because they do say at least according to my doctor she was saying you know once we get through the first trimester 12 to like 14 weeks at that point this should subside um and i should start to feel better which i'm really hoping for um that's like the light at the end of the tunnel i'm like okay this isn't gonna last forever I have some like electrolytes here because I feel like I'm a little dehydrated. I've really been trying to drink water like as much as possible. And just stay really hydrated, especially with, you know, vomiting and stuff like that. You will become dehydrated, which um, so I've really just been trying to have as much water and stuff as I can. And... Um, you know, just trying to stay on a, as much of a normal routine as I possibly can. Like I said, still going to the gym. Um, I go to Orange Theory, which is like a mix of a mix of cardio and weight training. Uh, I have still been running, but if I feel like I need to pull back, then I pull back a little bit. It is what it is. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm looking at myself like I don't think I've ever filmed in this state. But again, want to give you guys realistic. But I just wanted to give you guys that mid trimester update. Um, and keep it real with you. Aside from that, everything is good. And I'm just counting down the days till the first trimester is over. I hopefully feel better and I can actually share this stuff with you guys. Because obviously, you know, you guys are going to see this further along. Because I won't be posting anything till I'm, you know, safely out of the first trimester and all that. But I will recap again at the end 
of the first trimester in about two weeks. Crazy to think that we're almost there. <laughs> um, and one step closer to being able to share everything with you guys. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Hi guys. What's up guys? So we are going to our 12 week appointment today. We're actually in the uh, parking lot because we got here really early. Um, we just got our favorite sandwiches. So we're just having a little lunch before we go in. If you live in New Jersey, Milburn Deli, so good. Highly recommend go there, get their sandwiches. They're delicious. But um, yeah, really excited because I thought like 12 weeks was the end of the first trimester. But then now I was looking online. It basically says the first trimester goes to like the beginning of 14 weeks, which I'm like, there's always so much conflicting information and everything. So I don't know, but we're getting towards the end. Excited to be able to go in, hopefully see the baby. I think mm -hmm. we'll do an ultrasound today. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I think so. So I'm excited about that. And like, hopefully get to hear the heartbeat and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm feeling much better. Thank goodness. Definitely was pretty rough for me for a lot of those like weeks in the middle of like the first trimester. I'm definitely starting to feel better. Still get nauseous. Like last last night was like randomly I was really yeah. nauseous for some reason. I feel like you need to like, because you had an empty stomach, I feel like you need to like eat even if you're not hungry. I guess like just always, yeah, because it's, it's hard, but I like try and keep like crackers and stuff like that around. Um, and I feel like yesterday I didn't drink enough water either. Mm -hmm. I definitely did not have a lot of water yesterday. So I feel like maybe hydration has something to do with it too. I don't know, but overall day to day, definitely feeling better now than I did. So if you are like at like eight or nine weeks and you're like, Oh my God, is this ever going to get better? Cause I know that's how I felt. I was like, I cannot do this for like 40 weeks. <laughs> um, I feel a lot, lot better. Definitely not back to normal non-nausea non-tiredness but definitely so much better like i feel like i can completely function now and everything else where for a few of those weeks it was like i was really it was difficult for me to do anything and i was like oh my gosh like yeah i felt i'm like why am i being so weak like you know what i mean but truly i was just like going through it for me it was kind of good it was sad that it was right around christmas time um but in a way it was nice because like work and stuff, like most people were like off. And so like my work stuff was like, I didn't have a ton that needed to be done. So it was kind of good because I could just kind of take that time to rest. And that's basically what I did. Yeah, that's good. But yeah, definitely feeling better. Um, I feel like as the weeks go on, hopefully all the nausea will go away. If it doesn't though, I can definitely live with this and I'll be fine. And I definitely feel less tired than I did um, like just a few weeks back, so. Really, really grateful uh, about that. But yeah, we're gonna head into our appointment in a couple minutes and then we'll talk to you guys after. Hopefully everything goes good. Hi guys, we are making some dinner right now and I just realized that, sorry. <laughs> but I just realized that we never talked to you guys after our appointment. I also have the randomest, like, I have not gotten true pregnancy cravings really, but randomly, sometimes it's been iced tea and I never, ever drank iced tea before no, this. Never. Like, I haven't been drinking Diet Coke, so maybe that's why, because um, I'm not having like any soda or anything. So, because I normally would drink a lot of Diet Cokes like in my normal life, but I haven't drank any. So maybe that's why I'm craving iced tea. But that has been like my recent craving. But, wanted to update you guys after the appointment. Um, everything went perfectly, so baby is measuring just as they should, um, which is great. We got to hear the heartbeat, and they said it was really strong and stuff, so happy about that. Um, it's funny because we did get some pictures, but they show you like on the screen, they're like, oh, do you see like the baby's arm? And I'm like, no, no. <laughs> like, I, it's hard for me. You know, I guess if you're like a nurse or you work like in medicine or something, you probably are like, oh my God, like, you know, they obviously can see it, but I'm like, oh, okay. They're like, oh, there's its leg. And I'm like, oh, it just looks like a bob to me. I don't know. I'm not very good at visualizing, but they did give us some pictures. So we got a bunch of little pics here, um, which I'm excited about. I think when we take like photos to actually like announce, I guess we'll use yeah, this. Yeah. Um, but we got lots of little pictures and it's so cool. And here I feel like you could see like the little, the head you can see. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's interesting, but I was just happy that everything came back, you know, totally normal. Everything was good. They checked me and stuff like blood pressure and all that everything was good with me. And I think they were like checking my uterus or something too. I'm not quite sure why, but they said everything was perfect and how it should be. So I was like, okay, yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I guess this is going to end my first trimester vlog because we're getting to the end of 12 weeks now. Again, I don't know, conflicting things online. So maybe next week will still be part of the first trimester, but I'm going to consider that part of the second trimester and I'm going to end the first trimester vlog here. Um, overall, super thankful, obviously. Um, I really didn't have a horrible 
first trimester and if you're in your first trimester just know that it's gonna get better <laughs> um, if you're really sick but um yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed and we will see you guys very soon in I guess our next trimester vlog I don't yeah, know yeah, uh, next like little baby vlog yeah. but thanks for watching bye bye guys